there forever. First thing everybody goes is, well, which way do I turn this to uh, figure out how to take it off? I'll zoom in on the... Remember we talked last class that there's a groove at one end. That's the side that's left-hand thread. So if I'm trying to loosen this off, I need to hold this, hold both these cables. So I've just got a piece of wire here. There's a bunch of this wire, welding wire, out on the hanger floor with all these training aids. If I hold it in there like so, and I rotate it this way here. So I'll be able to rotate it so that it comes off all the way. So one of the first steps you have is to remove all the turn barrels. That way I know that you guys know how to turn them on. Easiest way to get them started. So I always start with the left hand thread first. It's just a little harder. It's almost impossible to start them exactly at the same time. So I'll get this one on one thread. Pull this one in. And wind it in there like so. So you'll take them all off. Now the thing is when you take these off, make sure that when you set it all up, you have a gap between these two wires. If this one wire falls underneath and goes up underneath here and you hook it up, now anytime you're moving, the cables are going to be rubbing like this. Eventually it's going to saw through and destroy it. So if you're doing that on the airplane and it's hidden where no one can see it, it eventually saws its way through and all of a sudden your ailerons go boink. You're not happy. You have a little bit of lack of control issues with your airplane. Notice the other day I also mentioned we talked about cables. We talked about looking for damage. Here's a great example of damage to a cable. This cable's been twisted. So if you see how it's no longer nice and smooth, someone has taken one of these cables and unwound it so far and then tensioned it up so it actually started to unwind the cable. If this was in an airplane, you would replace that cable. Okay, so the next step in your project here says to uh, remove all three turnbuckles, show the instructor, says obtain a tensiometer and set the tension designated by the instructor. So I'm going to come along and I'm going to say I want 30 or 35 PSI. I'll usually give you a plus or minus, so 5 PSI, so I'll give you a bit of a range. So if I give you 35 PSI, you can be as low as 30 or as high as 40. So how you tension these up, remember we talked the cables are a system. And we drew out, we saw that one when, uh, PowerPoint where it's just a big circle. Well, in this case here, this is a little different because we've got three separate cables. So your best bet when you've got this type of situation, get all your turn barrels wound on so that the threads are pretty close to disappearing or just disappeared inside the turn barrel. So I'll wind this one in a bit. Okay, so that one's disappeared a bit. Once you start to get some tension on this system, you'll find it becomes a little more difficult to rotate these barrels. So you can find a piece of metal, small screwdriver, even an Allen key, whatever it takes, and you can put that inside if you're having trouble turning them. This one's a little too big, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> I guess it's in there forever. That works not though. All right. So what you end up wanting to do is, when your aircraft, we do supply you with a rig pin. So if this is your control column in the aircraft, when the, this control is centered, you want your flight control centered. So if I put the pin in here, my flight controls should be uh, parallel across the back here. So you know, we've got one sticking up. That one's pretty close. So we're going to have to adjust these cables so that we bring that one down. Now we don't have any tension in here yet, so that's okay. So I usually like to look at it and go, okay, well if I pull on this one, that brings that one up. So I don't want to tighten that one anymore. If I pull on that one, that brings that one up. If I pull on this one, what does that do? Oh, it brings them down a bit, right? So just squeeze it first, see what it's gonna do. So in this case here, I'm gonna tighten this one up because I want to bring those closer down. See how they rotate it? Now they're both going down, but that's okay. Once I get the tension I want, I'll show you how to fix that. So I've got one up and I've got one down. They're both equal. Let's see what we've got for tension.
So don't forget to measure your cable. I brought the large frame one. So you have to measure your cable, set your gauge here to 1 8. So I've set that for 1 8. There we go. Yeah, so I'll put it on. I said I wanted 30 to 30, 35, I said. So I'm at 32 pounds. There we go. So about 32 pounds, 35 would be the tick in the middle. So I'm getting awfully close. So if I want to get these controls, this is what we call rolling the controls. So if I want to lift this one up and bring that one down. So if I tighten this one, that actually brings the other one down a bit, right? But I can't go any higher in tension. So that when I do that, so what I want to do then is I'm going to loosen this one. by one turn, and then I'll tighten the other one by one turn. And let's see what happens. There's a half, there's a full turn. Half, there's a full turn. Okay, we're closer, right? Now, we do have a little slop in the system here, so I will take that into account when I'm measuring your stuff. So we're pretty close. I'm gonna try another half turn with each one. Each one, I'm gonna try. Actually, because we were a little low on our tension, I'm gonna try a half turn on this one, just tighter, just to bring that one up just a bit. That's why we give you a range, so that you can play with this a bit. Pretty good, hey? Pretty close, yeah. See how easy that was? How long did that take? Five minutes? Let's check our tension. Oh, you'll like this. What are we reading for tension? 35. Holy cow, I'm going to hire myself. I think you've done this before. <laughs> I've done this before, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, though, we're going to safety this in three different ways. We're going to use the safety clips we showed you the other day, so that becomes important. Because before you can put the safety clips in, everything has to be in alignment. And we've got the notch in here. And we've got a... Here, we'll show this one here. If you can zoom in on that guy. So we've got the groove in there. And there's a notch in the turn barrel. So to get those two, we to put the pin in, we have to line those up. So you always want to line these guys up first before you safety anything. Because this will affect your tension. Okay, so we've got those lined up. So let's look at our trailing edge. Make sure that we're not. See, just by doing that, I've changed it a bit. All right. So I need to loosen this one half a turn. So I get a lot of people that they'll go and they'll safety this one, they'll safety this one, and then they get to this one, and then when they line everything up with for the, the pins, they have difficulty. So I'm going to back off half a turn. Increase a half a turn. Still out a bit, eh? Oh. <laughs> okay, what happened there, Kyle? Well, oh. there's some play in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there might be a few things wrong with this one, we'll have to sort out. Anyway, so now we're good, we'll double check our tension. 
We're down about 32, 33, so we're within limits. So now we'll safety it. So we'll start with the easy safety. We showed you these safety pins the other day in class or in the video, or the power point. So they just slide in underneath. If that groove is lined up with that notch, this will just slide right in. And then drops in. You probably won't be able to hear it everywhere in the class, but when this goes in, it'll make a nice click because that'll tell you that it's engaged. Okay, when I go to pull it out, I can't pull it out because that's engaged all the way. So this one here happens to be on this side. So I'll slide it in. If it doesn't slide in, it usually means it's slightly misaligned. So you might have to play with it a bit to line it up. Okay, so that one's locked in there. So that one's safety. So we ask you to do two different styles of wraps. These are both out of AC43. I'll show you what they look like in AC43. 